Hi, welcome to Movie Pitch. So I have an idea for a Punisher story. Now, I originally conceived this idea as being like a uh, like a graphic novel, but it could easily be like a film or a even like a short film. I think that would be pretty cool. I would have I think John Barenthal is fantastic as the Punisher, so I would want him naturally to be uh, the Punisher if it did so happen to become a film. Uh, I'm not an avid Punisher reader, so if this story sounds familiar. Um, that's a coincidence, so I apologize for that, uh, if it does so happen that it is similar. Anyways, so this Punisher story is going to start off uh, kind of similar to the 2004 Punisher with Thomas Jane, where he's living in an apartment, and the, you know there's the a girl across the way, and but this girl is going to have a, a son, like he's going to be like eight or nine years old, and he's going to... Uh, Frank Castle's gonna like he's gonna be in his apartment. And he's gonna be getting ready for his night out. He's gonna be just like getting all his guns and shit polished and just ready to go. And then he's gonna hear like kind of some like commotion coming up the stairs, like a lot of just like huffing and puffing, like something. And then you hear like a this kid just like screaming bloody murder at his mom, just like a bunch of insults, just a little shit. And he opens up this door and he sees that like she's just like hauling a shit ton of groceries and the kid is nothing. He's not helping his mom. He's just like yelling at her and he's standing at the door like, I want in, I want in, I want in. And so Frank goes and he helps the, the woman bring all her groceries inside. And uh, she sits down and she like offers him some coffee and he's like, oh, you know, I don't, I'm okay. I, I, I got to go soon. And she's like, no, please, please. Like I, I really, I could use the company. I need to, I just need to talk a little bit. And he's like okay, fine. You know, he, he doesn't let on, but he's, he's naturally attracted to this woman. So he does, you know, he does kind of want to stay. So he does. And she gives him some coffee and she's just like really down. And she's just going, I just don't know what to do with my son. Like he just, he, again, today, you know, he got kicked out of another school. Like, I just don't know what to do about this. You know, I love him so much. And so many people keep telling me, like even my family members keep telling me that he's just like, he's like the devil child. He's just like a bad seed. And, but I refuse to believe that. I know that there's good in him. I, I know that there's good. There's good in everyone. There has to be. No one can be completely bad. I don't understand how he got like this, you know, me and his father, I mean, it didn't work out, but his dad, you know, I had my issues with him, but he was an evil man. I don't understand where my son is getting this personality from. I don't understand. And the Punisher thinks back and he's, he's thinking about so many people telling him this when he was in the Iraq war, and, you know, just like not everyone's bad, Frank. It's so, like, you know, these, these, these people, not all of them are bad. Like even your guys, like, you know, they, they do bad things, but they're, they got good in them. And it was really tough. He didn't believe that then he would kill and he would kill women, children. He believed that he, everyone was the enemy, including some of his, uh, I guess I'll call them comrades, even though they're not communists, but whatever, you know what I mean? And so Frank, it's tough for him to empathize with her, but he sees it. She's so beautiful and she seems to be such a nice person. And, you know, if she can believe that there's good in something that's evil. Maybe he can too. So he leaves and he's still going to go out. And he goes to like this docking ship and they're, they're hauling illegal arms, like a shit ton of guns and grenades and everything you can think of. And he blows it all to hell and, typical Punisher fashion and there's one guy remaining and he's laying on the floor and he's bloody and he's burnt and Frank walks over and he's gonna kill him and then he thinks back on what the lady at the apartment said and he just he has a moment where he's looking at this guy and he, he he's just going I'm gonna let you live I'm going to, I'm going to show mercy. I'm I have to, I can't keep doing what I'm doing. Eventually I'm going to have to convince myself or I can't do this forever unless I die. I have to, there has to be a piece of me that believes that there, you can change, that you can change, that you can be a good person because there has to be good in you. Right? I don't know if I believe that, but I want to, I want to. So I'm going to show mercy. I'm going to let you live. And Frank does. And Frank goes back to his apartment. And yada, yada, yada. Him and the woman, they start developing a real relationship.
and it becomes um, even a sexual relationship where she's the first person, the first woman that he's been with in like years. And naturally he just starts to fall in love with her. And he doesn't really pay attention. You know, he doesn't really talk to the kid that much. You know, he's trying to keep a distance. You know, he doesn't want to make things worse, but at the same time, he wants to spend time with this woman. And he knows that, you know, eventually I will take the kid under my wing and I'm, I'm going to try and help him. I can maybe, maybe I'm the person that can help him change. And so uh, the woman and Frank, they're laying in bed and she inquires about what he does for a living because she doesn't know. And Frank, he's so used to lying and he's sitting there and he's just thinking like, you know, I want something different. I'm, you know, I'm just going to come out clean and I'm going to tell her who I am and what I do. And so he does. He tells her about him being the Punisher and she knows who he is. She knows about the Punisher. She flips out and she's just like, I'm not going to call the police or anything on you, but you have to leave. I can't risk me or my son being associated with you. I can't be away from my son. I can't let anything risk that. He's already at risk. I, I, this is going to ruin us. This, is, this can ruin our, our life. You have to leave. And he's broken hearted and he leaves and goes back to his apartment. And then he's just super upset and he turns on the news and he sees that it's like live and there's some guy dropping grenades out of a building and he's just tore the whole building to shit and just the whole like everything around this city is just destroyed everything around this block is just blown up and kids got killed and moms got killed and police got killed and frank just he's just filled with fucking rage like he always is so he hauls ass to the building he gets past the cops, he goes up the building, and he finds the man that's dropping the grenades and killing everyone. And it's the same guy at the the docking boat that he let live. He's the one who's throwing the grenades. And the Punisher kills him. And he's totally distraught. And he goes back home. And he knocks on the woman's door. And there's no answer. And he, know, he just, he can hear the TV on. He knows someone's in there. He's like, she's just not answering the door. He's like, please open, please open it. Please open the door. And she won't open the door. And so he breaks in the door. And he walks in the house. And there's blood and guts all over the floor. All over like this white tile. And he's walking through the home. And he goes into the woman's bedroom. And she's mutilated and her head is decapitated and he's just frozen and just like, what the fuck happened and he's just he goes he's just walking and he's just going what the and then he hears the television he hears cartoons and he walks to the living room and he sees her little boy and he's sitting in front of the television really close up and he's holding the woman's head in his hands and her head is upside down and it's hollowed out and it's got like candy or popcorn or something fucking nuts like that and the kid's just like eating with his bloody fingers and he's got blood on his mouth and he's watching his cartoons with his mother's head in his hands and Frank starts thinking about his son and he's remembering a time that his son got bullied at school. And he's telling his son, like, you know, son, like, there's, I don't want this to ruin school for you. I don't want this to ruin your experience. You know, there's good, there's good kids out there. There really are. And he goes, and his son goes, dad, I think just some people are just bad. Just some are just evil. And Frank takes out his gun and he cocks it and he points it at the back of the kid's head watching TV and so that's my Punisher story I call it the Punisher mercy if you're the Punisher you never show mercy I know that much I'm not an avid Punisher reader but I know that much about the Punisher that's what makes him the Punisher so that's it hope you guys liked it